All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new project. There's a couple ways that we can do this. You can go to the File menu and select New. And that will list a series of project templates. These project templates basically have some predefined information in those, such as layers and other, uh, other data. Now, you'll see that I have some additional templates that you may not see. Those are ones that I've created over time and use those for certain projects. And this is something you can do as well, but we won't cover that in this particular course. We'll cover that in another, uh, another class. Another way, probably the most easiest way to do a new project is right from the start page, click on the new project button. You can also see over here that if you have an existing project you want to open, you can click on that. Over here, you'll see that these are your previously opened or created projects. So if you want to go back to open up one that you've worked on before, you simply click here. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click on new project. And again, it brings up that same list of project templates. There's a few, like I said, that ship with Business Center. And in this case, the one that we're going to use for this particular course is US Survey Foot. So I'm going to select on that. You can see if you use this one all the time, you can set that as the default. Right now, my default up here is set to a blank template, which may or may not be what we want uh, because it may not have the configurations and settings that we want. I know that in this particular data set, we're working in US survey feet. So I can come down here and I can set that as my default so that when I want to create a new project in the future, I can simply click on this button up here, which is the create new project button as well. It's going to use this project template because that is my default. So for right now, I'm just going to click OK, and that's going to start in creating a new project. It's going to be first uh, in, called an unnamed project. And what you can do is probably the best thing to do is save this project before you go any further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go either up to the quick access toolbar where I can click on save project or as I can also go over to the file and do a save or save as. If you're doing this for the first time and you hit save, that's actually doing the same thing as a save as. If you want to save a current project as another name, you can do a save as. If you want to save it as a template, you can do that here. And again, like I said, we'll talk about that in another video or another course. So just wanted to start by creating a new project. You see we have our, our plan view now, which is where we're going to import our data. Um, we have some other commands and tools down here in, on what's known as our status bar. And you'll see that now our icons on our ribbons and tabs are no longer gray, but they're also selectable. Over on our Project Explorer, you can see that we've got our project name, our points, and any imported files, which you'll see will get populated as we bring in more data. If I go to the down at the bottom and click on the View Filter Manager, so from Project Explorer, I'm going to View Filter Manager you'll see that this has some layers already predefined, which is a zero layer, which will be in every project you have. Um, in this case, the drill plans and the points layers were also part of that project template, so they got created when I created the new project. There's some other information here that we don't really need in this particular course or need to pay any attention to. You'll see there's some other uh, observation and other display options down here for points and symbols. We'll cover that as we get into bringing data into the project. Under properties is where, again, you'll see properties of objects once we have them into the, uh, into the drawing. This tab here is our plan view tab. And on that plan view tab is we're looking at this grid. And this is basically our coordinate system. So you can see here that 0, 0 is right here. And then our increasing northing and eastings are x and y's is going to go to our upper right and you can see if we got down here to our lower left we'd be in the negative value. In the following video we'll bring in some data so that we can show you some more features of Business Center.